Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Game Pass. I'm Nathan and Tim with Tip. This Game Pass game is worth your time and bandwidth. Today's game is Darkest Dungeon. Ruin has come to your family. Enlist an ever-cycling group of heroes to quest for you as they get stressed, diseased, and develop positive and negative quirks to try and stop an eldritch horror. Is this fantasy HR management sim worth trying? Darkest Dungeon is a PC Xbox cross release. There's no enhancements or anything for either of those, and the PC doesn't have Chivos. It is worth pointing out there's two big DLC packs, one of them called the Crimson Court. In my opinion, it's almost necessary to play the game, but it's not included in Game Pass. But give the game a shot before you purchase it. And lastly, a first run of this game will probably take you under between 30 and 40 hours. So what exactly is Darkest Dungeon? Well, it's a hybrid roguelike turn-based RPG plus light city and unit management. The general loop of the game is you are recruiting heroes to send them on quests into various dungeons for loot. You then use that loot to upgrade the town and your heroes until you are strong enough to take on the boss of the area and eventually take on the darkest dungeon, the biggest, baddest dungeon of them all. The catch is that heroes get stressed, which is permanent, and can die, which is also permanent, which takes time and money to cure, except death, you can't cure death. Which ends up leading to the fact that it's better early on to just drop heroes that you've invested in and get new heroes because once they get stressed, they basically are non-functional until you fix it. They can also get diseases, negative perks, and so on. You are making the best of a bad situation here to try and undo this eldritch abomination that your ancestor unleashed upon the world. The meat of the action is its turn-based combat where different heroes can do different commands based on both their positions and the enemy positions. Positions. The game also very clearly tells you what your percentage to hit is, what the status effects you can inflict are, so on and so forth. It's a fairly complicated game mechanically if you choose to delve deep and get good at it. Combat is brutal and stressful and has high risk, high reward. Ultimately, you're going to be going into dungeons with your heroes hoping they don't get stressed to death or death to death killed and making the best of this terrible situation to try and eventually conquer the darkest dungeon so what do i like about the darkest dungeon well its turn-based combat mechanic is excellent like i mentioned this is a content rich complex game where you are going to need to master the skills and assemble the correct teams required to conquer each new area which has different strengths and weaknesses meaning you can't just use the same team over and over because of stress and also you know weaknesses strengths as well as learn the combat mechanics this is not an easy game i also love this game's audio the narrator really steals the show it almost makes the game worth playing just for the narration it is the best part of the experience i love the visual and the music is perfect and really stressful. And lastly, this is a game that, again, high risk, high reward makes it so success feels exhilarating and failure is absolutely crushing. If you like having these emotional ups and downs, this game will deliver it to you in spades. When it comes to the bad, the game does have a bit of RNG nature in combat, which those who play XCOM should be familiar with, the 95% chance to hit, and then you still miss meme. It makes the game feel a bit unfair at times, however. The game also gets pretty grindy when it comes to town upgrades, uh, etc. And permadeath of heroes exacerbates this because you lose your favorite hero. Now you got to build another one up to the same level. And the controls on the controller are really not great. They're incredibly frustrating. You get used to them, but having to manage characters with the controller is obnoxious as hell. Play this on PC if you can. So as you know, my game's not three-point scale, must play, maybe consider, don't bother. I think this game is a maybe consider, but I also think it's a hidden gem. I personally adore this game. It's one of my favorites, and I've beaten it several times on both PC and Switch, but it has more than a few flaws that I can't just blanket recommend it. The RNG is enough to drive several of my friends away, and the grindy nature where you can lose everything is frustrating. Think of Nuzlocke runs for, like, Pokemon. However, the graphics and voice acting are absolutely exceptional, and you'll never play a game that evokes this kind of stress on you, and then relieves it when you finally defeat a frustrating boss. The experience is wholly unique, and because of that, I think people should still check it out. Just know what you're getting into. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and go out there and enjoy the darkest dungeon.